when we talk about class action, um, first of all, people have a misunderstanding uh, as to what is and what's not eligible for class actions. There's been a lot of changes to the law in the last 25, 30 years, and a lot of narrowing and refining when a class action is available. And so what most people think of when they hear the word class action now are handled under a different legal system that's called multi-district litigation. And it's technical, I understand that, but it's, it's called MDL. It's not technically a class action, but it has a lot of the flavor of a class action, and that is you have a product, or you have uh, a device, or you have uh, some conduct on the part of a, a large corporation that affects not just one person, but affects a massive amount of people, right? And that's where you might hear the term mass tort. Tort means mass, a mass tort is somebody, a, a massive number or a large number of people affected by the unreasonable conduct of an entity. And so that, people traditionally say, well, that's a class action. It's not technically a class action, but it's close. So it's okay for us to refer to it in general uh, under that topic, but it's technically, really, it's a multi-district litigation. And that is, you here in Colorado might have been implanted with a medical device that's defective, along with 30,000 other people across the country, or 5,000 people across the country. And so what happens if, we file a lawsuit on your behalf here in a Colorado court, but there's 5,000 other lawsuits filed all over the country over the exact same issue. How does the court system handle those? How do we make sure that justice occurs for everybody who's been affected and make sure that the money is available to pay all of those people if we can prove liability? So what happens is the courts grab all of those 5,000 cases and they put them under one judge in one state and one federal jurisdiction, okay? And that judge then, regardless of whether you're from Colorado or California, everybody is affected by that one piece of litigation. Now what's different uh, about multi-district litigation is that um, now you're with a whole group of people and a judge has to make a decision on everybody's claim. So let's say that there's a, a supervisor at a manufacturing company that was responsible for the defect. We wouldn't get 5,000 times to take that person's deposition. His deposition gets taken once and all 5,000 people get to use it, okay? And so that helps with the efficiency of the court process. When the judge makes the decision, he's making it on all 5,000 cases, but we actually file your case separately. It's just kind of sucked into this multi-district litigation format and it's controlled by one judge who makes the main decisions for everybody in the case. But if the cases don't resolve, they get sent back to your local federal courthouse for trial in your courthouse with your judges. And that's why it's very important uh, in uh, Colorado to understand that even if you're dealing with a medical device or some other litigation that seems to be national, that if it falls under this multi-district litigation, which is the way this, this is handled now, um, you need to have lawyers who are familiar with the Colorado courthouses and the Colorado judges because in the event that there's not a settlement, that's where it's gonna come back for trial. Now the vast majority of these cases resolve because there's a huge number of cases, there's a limited number of resources available to pay those, and if you have, for instance, some of the litigations we're involved in where there's nine or 10,000 lawsuits filed around the country, there needs to be a process by which those cases can be resolved, and so that one federal judge will oversee uh, what are called bellwether trials. And this is where, let's say there's 10,000 cases, the judge says, okay, on the plaintiff side, pick five cases to go to trial, and on the defense, pick five cases to go to trial, and they'll line them up and the judge will say, okay, we'll, we'll try one plaintiff case and we'll try one defense pick case. And after that, we'll see if the parties have an interest in talking about settling. And if not, we'll do a second. One of the recent cases that resolved um, on a class action basis, there were two trials. One of the trials was a multi-million dollar verdict. The other trial was a defense verdict. After both of those trials, there was an attempt to resolve all of the cases. If that bellwether trial system doesn't result in some good understanding as to what a jury is likely to do, and therefore you know, enable us to move forward with settlement discussions, then the federal judge could make an election to say, you know what, this group of cases isn't gonna settle. Let's send them back to the local federal courthouse for trial.